This tutorial will take you through setting up Bootstrap on your server. Bootstrap is a free front-end framework for designing websites and web applications. It's very popular for website design because of its many added components and responsiveness. Keep in mind that this tutorial goes over just one of the multiple types of Bootstrap installations. We will be using the standard Bootstrap install. This is best for Bootstrap beginners. The other installations require knowledge of CSS preprocessors. The first step is to download Bootstrap. Go to the Bootstrap download page, and in the Compiled CSS and JS section, click Download. Once the file is downloaded, go to the file location. You will need to unzip the files before you can use them. If you're on a Mac, it will automatically unzip the files for you. On Windows, you'll have to unzip the files manually. After the files are unzipped, they're ready to be uploaded to your server. Go to the Bootstrap folder to upload the contents into the directory of your desired domain. Most of the time, you can find the domain's directory by going to the web directory in the ACC. The only reason this would not work is if you have remapped the domain to another directory. For those domains that have not been remapped, you can find their directory by clicking Files in the left sidebar, clicking Web in the drop-down, and finding your domain name. If you click on the domain name, it'll show you the contents of the directory. Now you need to copy the folders within the Bootstrap file into your domain's directory. The folders in the Bootstrap file will be CSS and JS. You can easily transfer files and folders by using SFTP. Because you're going to be using Bootstrap to set up your site, you need to have an HTML file that correctly utilizes Bootstrap. Bootstrap supplies a basic outline that calls the necessary components to run Bootstrap. Copy this basic outline and add it to an HTML file. Name it index.html. Upload this file to the directory of your desired domain. If your site does not already have a home page, this page will now appear as your domain's home page. You can use this to test whether your new Bootstrap site is up and running. To publish, you'll need to make sure your files are set to permissions that allow it to be viewable. If the permissions are not set correctly, your website will have no site content. Once you've confirmed that your site is functioning correctly with Bootstrap, you can now edit the index file with the many Bootstrap components.